us first law of motion let us first law of motion also we used to call it as galileo law of inertia what do you mean by inertia anybody the property of opposing the change of state of matter yes change of state the of property it is the property of the body due to which it resists a change in its state of rest are uniform motion so the body which is in state of rest when somebody is trying to apply the force it is trying to maintain its state of rest the body which is in uniform motion when somebody is trying to apply the force to cause stop it or some, something do so it will be trying to oppose its uh, change that is what resist its change that is what we used to call as inertia so this inertia is basically how we can measure is what it is how we can measure which body is having more inertia anybody sir by their mass sir yes mass so mass is the measurement of inertia so mass is a measure of the inertia of every body so if the body is having more mass it has more inertia or less inertia everybody more yes. inertia more inertia more inertia so if we we'll take for example if we we'll take danishkar and reddy who is having more inertia reddy or danishkar Yes, please. Ready. Ready. Why? Because the Nishkar is having less mass compared to the uh, ready, so that automatically ready is exerting more inertia compared to the the Nishkar. That is why. So if we we'll take football and stone, who is having more inertia? Mitakshri, Kaushik. Stone. Stone. More inertia. Why stone is having more inertia? Because high mass than football. high mass that is what so that is why you can see which one we can change its position easily suppose if we we'll take football and stone i have taken one football and i have taken one uh, uh, one uh, stone so now you tell me which one i can change the position easily yes sir yes, football football why i can change the position easily because of less, less mass less mass so it is having less inertia so that easily i can bring the change in this body is yes or no guys yes please everybody anishka yes, but if we take the stone it is having more mass so that what is happening it is having more inertia do you understand everyone so that is the reason we it will take it, it needs lot of energy to bring the change in its position yes or no gokul everyone yes sir what yes please now if you will take here you know today's class as i told you we are going to continue the next half of the part that is what the body which is in state of rest remains in state of rest unless it is compelled by an external force for that we have been done yesterday one experiment also illustration of newton's first law of motion yes or no guys yes please yes. so the yes, first sir. half of the definition is over that is what the body which is in state of rest remains in state of rest okay so now second half of the part second half of the definition what is the second half the body which is in uniform motion what is that uniform motion remains in its state of uniform motion unless it is compelled by what remains remains in a uniform motion uniform motion in which direction uniform motion in which direction which it is in a straight line that is very very important okay uniform motion in a straight line unless it is compelled by an external force now as we discussed in the yesterday's class when bus suddenly breaks you apply bus driver or car suddenly apply brakes so that will fall front or back suddenly apply brakes will fall front or back everybody front. will fall will fall into fall towards to front towards to front side understand forward we can say or we can say forward not front we can say forward okay so will fall towards to the forward now when suddenly bus will start suddenly it will start from the bus bay suddenly starts or we can say sudden jerk so then what will happen will fall into what will fall towards the where hurry towards to back backward so that is what what is the reason behind i told you now i will show you that practically animation and you can understand it also so we start guys now everybody are you ready yes please yes, sir yes, that sir. is what now if you will notice it very carefully here 
observe very carefully this video all of you so that you can understand very easily just a minute you see my screen everyone yes sir now everybody see this no sound i will explain what is this they are saying newtons first law of motion yes or no now you all people need to experience when you are going to real life also so what is this called as you can see every example is explaining newton's first law of motion only observe carefully so now the ball is in state of rest so what is this he is applying the force so that is what unless it is applying the force or else the body is in now what motion ready the body is in what motion uniform circular motion understand uniform motion in a straight line see nobody is stopped but how it came to rest how it came to rest because of two things because of two things what is the reason see nobody stopped the ball but it came it came in front of the einstein and sorry newton and it stopped so that newton started thinking why this ball automatically coming to rest because of two reasons what is the two reasons one is a a resistance and another one is the friction exerted by ground is it yes or no guys yes please that is the two reasons everybody should understand that okay now you can see now so what they are saying everybody read a body continues to be in its state of rest or of uniform motion uniform motion unless it is acted upon by what unless it is acted upon by an unbalanced external force so if you want to create a motion in your body or if you want to bring the body into rest we need uh, balanced forces or unbalanced forces i already taught you we need balanced or unbalanced forces yes please if you want to create a motion in your body or else if you want to stop the moving body you need balanced forces or unbalanced forces Unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces. With is it possible to create any motion with the help of balanced forces? Not at all possible. Yes or no? So only with unbalanced forces only we can change the position of a body or we can bring the body back into the rest. That is what you have to remember. Now you can see that is what unbalanced external forces must be applied to change. Understand? If the body need to be continuous to be state of rest. Our uniform motion, still when it will be in uniform motion, unless it is acting by an unbalanced forces. That is what external force we used to say that. Now you can see that unbalanced forces. What is this actually? Anybody can tell me what is this? Already we studied this. Already I I shown you the picture also. What is this? The gaff. Tug of uh, wall. Tug of force. So now, if you notice it here, so now both are exerting equal and opposite force. Then, is it the rope will come to any direction? Is it the rope is coming into any direction? No, sir. No. Then it is called as which forces? We used to call it balanced. as balanced forces. So now, balanced forces will create motion. will never create any motion understand everybody now you can see the force is exerting balance in both the directions so that the rope is not moving in any direction you can see there because they are applying equal forces in both the direction so force is balanced is it okay hari danishka yes please yes, sir. now you tell me now rope is coming this side so that it is balanced or unbalanced Balanced, unbalanced. Unbalanced. Who is exerting more force? So these two boys, understanding, exerting more force. Do you understand? More external force they have been applied so that what is happening? The rope is coming. Have you noticed this red one? This red cloth. We are. We have to notice it. So red cloth move to this side. So it is indicating that what? This side more force and this side less force. That is why have you noticed it? They mentioned with the small arrow and big arrow. Yes or no? Yes, please. That is what you can see. So the position is the position is displaced from from here to here. So it is indicating what we people can. It has been uh, noticed it balanced forces. It is become unbalanced forces. Yes or no, guys? 
Yes, please. Yes, that is why. So now you can yes. see that is why the red rope is coming this side. Now you can notice. Unbalance of force. Have you understood, everybody? Yes? yes sir. Now, why these fellows fall down? Anybody? Anyone? Sir, because this is the rope, sir. Yes, please. Why these fellows are falling down? Anyone? Because they released the rope completely. Have you noticed it? Release the rope completely so that this side more force it has been, the more external force, so that they have been fall down to backward direction. Yes, sir. No, because they are applying the force in the same direction. Yes, sir. No, guys. Yes. That is what. So suddenly, please, that is why they have been fall down. Check it. Arun Gailas, have you understand? Gokul? Yes, sir. Now you can see here. This one also will be external force. You can notice it all of you. So what they are saying? Now, what we are going to study? Inertia, correct? So inertia, this is only a hurry. Everybody note it down. So inertia, we can make what? Inertia of rest, inertia of direction, and inertia of what? Inertia of motion. motion. That is what we'll study now, bus example. Suppose when you are standing on bus, observe what is happening. I will explain you very clearly with the help of pictures also. So please all of you write, inertia means what? Bracket you have to write. What is that? resisting its change understand so it is what we will measure mass is the measurement of inertia so inertia will be inertia of rest inertia of direction and inertia of motion make it everybody shall we start now so this is what the bus okay so now you notice it you can able to observe very clearly all people can feel it so bus can you able to see the bus so person is standing here whom we can imagine here anybody similar to this our team yes please nobody mitakshri have understand mitakshri now person is what he is sitting or standing anyhow girl also you can take okay sitting also no issues so the person is standing now observe very carefully what is happening have you seen he is falling down he is falling backward or forward he is falling backward or forward you can see here, this is because of what? Because of inertia of? Inertia of rest. Understand? Why means suddenly the driver is starting. Suddenly the driver starts the bus. What is happening? The lower part of the body is coming contact with the bus so that the lower part of the body will get fastly motion. The lower part of the body will get the motion. But still the upper part is in what? But still the upper part is in what, guys? It is in remind state of state of rest only. Rest. So that is why if the friend, our down part will go forward, automatically our back part will what will happen? Are it will fall into the backward direction. That is what inertia of rest we can say. See, observe here very carefully. Have you noticed it? Everyone, arrows. Yes, sir. Now, everyone. So this yes, is position of him. This orange color one, this is the initial position of him. Now, when bus will start suddenly, bus starts suddenly, then what is happening, guys? Suddenly, what is happening? Our legs are contact with the ground so that our legs will attain the motion. So this arrow is direction of this uh, movement of bus and this arrow is along with the bus. Our legs also will attain the motion because they are coming contacting with the bus so they will attain the motion first so that is why automatically our body will go what our body will back move into the what direction backward clear so due to the what due to the inertia of rest clear ready inertia of rest okay everyone yes please yes sir yes, sir. yes sir. now you can see Understand, Ra? everybody? That is why I am not keeping wise because you have to understand. Now, this experiment we already did or not? Yesterday we yes, did this experiment. Yes, okay. Sir. Now, again, now Reddy is coming. Reddy is wearing spectacles, huh? 
This is side we are following. Why we are following side? You can see here. I'll make it. So the same thing, I will erase it and I will show you. So the person is falling side, not only front and back, will fall side also. So how we are falling side, you notice it here. I will make it. So bus you observe, everybody. Can you understand this one? Rest is a tendency of a body to resist any change in its state of rest. What happens when a fast... See, fast bus, it is moving in which road ready? It is moving in a curve road. Oh. Yes or no? So that way people will fall left and right, left and right. Yes or no? Yes? yes that is what. So why it is happening, let us discuss now. Somebody is not there in meeting. Who is that? I think... Arun Gailas. Yes? Okay. Now see. Moving bus negotiates a right-hand curve on the road. The passengers yes, will falling left hand now here. See, bus is taking into right hand. So why we are falling into left hand? Anyone? That is also because of what? Inertia. Do you understand? So when they will take suddenly right side, then our right side body will get attains the state of rest. But our left side body is still in the state of motion. So that automatically will be falling into the left side. Tilt to the left. Inertia of direction is the tendency of a body to oppose any change in the direction of its motion. With the application of sharp brakes, the bus stops all of a sudden. Now see, bus suddenly stops. What happened? Bus suddenly stops. What happened, guys? The person goes forward. Even forward, sir. The person goes forward. Why? Why the person goes forward? Gopal Krishna? Because? By the time our lower part of the body is contact with the ground, suddenly our lower part will come to rest. But still our upper part is in what? Our upper part is in motion only. Motion. That is why it will be... And the passengers tend to fall see. forward. This is due to inertia of motion. Ex it's not down, inertia of motion. Because when the bus is in motion, our full body is in motion. Suddenly the driver applies brakes. Then our lower part will come to rest suddenly, but still our upper part is trying to maintain state of motion. That is what inertia of motion we can experience by the okay, upper part of the body. See now, when the bus is moving, the observe very carefully. The whole body of the passenger is in a state of motion. A sudden halt caused by the lower part of the passenger's body that is in contact with the bus comes to rest. Sir, no. Are you clear, everybody? Yes. yes? yes sir. That is what. So the body part which is coming in contact with the bus will attain the motion also first and as well as will attain the rest also first. Is it okay, Ari? Danishka? However, the upper portion of the body remains in the state of motion due to the inertia of motion causing the passenger Here you not note it down, inertia of motion. Passenger to fall forward when the bus stops suddenly. Inertia of motion is a tendency of a body to resist a change in its state of uniform motion. Thus, Newton's first law is also called the law of inertia. Or we can say Galileo law of inertia. Okay guys? Law of inertia, Newton's first law of motion, or Galileo law of inertia. Everything. Well, now this law should make sense. Do you understand why a ball on the ground after being kicked does not keep moving forever? The ball stops after some time due to the unbalanced external unbalanced external force. What is that? Frictional force and as well as force applied by the ground. Air resistance. Air resistance. Clear everybody? So our body continues to be in state of rest or uniform motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced external force. So these all are the examples. Is it okay, guys? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, now here, the one and one new thing you have been forgotten, that is what? Direction, inertia of direction. Do you remember the day in the middle they said when we have one ball, pendulum? Yes, sir, now. That yes, is inertia of rest, you already studied. Inertia of motion, already studied. Middle, you are getting inertia of rest. So that inertia of rest means tenden tendency to avoid the motion in a particular direction. That is what it will be. Continuously making in a circular motion. You can see, this is what like left and right over, then after that you will get it. So that is what you can see. This is only called as tendency of what? Inertia of 
direction understand so actually hari we are studied in first chapter circular motion if the ball is released here it needs to go in this direction if the ball is released here it needs to go in this direction if the ball is released here it needs to go in this direction yes or no yes so to oppose this moving in a particular direction is only called as inertia of direction what is to called inertia of direction so three things inertia of rest inertia of direction and inertia of motion are you clear everybody that is what yes. that is all of you should remember hope you all clear this is what what is newton's first law of motion have you understand everybody gopal krishna kaushik everybody clear or not okay yes sir now next time when you are sitting into the when you are traveling in the car now you can see we people will wear the seat belt why we people are wearing seat belt anybody can tell me why we people are wearing seat belt so our front body we will not go and hit that is what when when ready suddenly when we car stops or when we start the car so when we suddenly brake so when we stop the car you can see understand when we suddenly breaks what will happen all of you try to communicate guys when you suddenly breaks what will happen you can see the first photography why this person is wearing the seat belt anyone what is that a car wearing a seat belt because seat belt provided in a car so that if the car stops suddenly then due to an emergency braking or an accident then the driver and the passengers are not thrown forward violently yes or no guys you might be watching movies and all so if those who are not wearing the seat belt the during accidents or sudden brakes applied the person will come out from the front window yes sir no hari yes danishka yes that yes, is sir. so this seat belt will prevent us understanding so prevent us from the accidents or injury it will not allow us to thrown violently from the windows during accidents that is the reason we have to wear the seat belts do you understand everyone yes please respond because sudden breaks so that we will fall forward or backward anybody sudden forward forward, forward. forward. forward direction forward next suddenly is unfortunately or you can see if you don't know driving or else suddenly your car will starts then our our head will go backward direction yes or no guys yes sure. you will notice this picture every car nowadays seat is not end by this it is having some head they will be having some this kind of part have you noticed it this is the part can you able to see here ready anishka everyone hari yes, Mitak Sri, yes, do you have this car in our car? Anybody? Is there anybody having car without this kind of things? Please respond. Every car is yes, having sir. nowadays this is so. This is the pur. It is having some purpose. Anybody can tell me what is the purpose of this one? Anyone? That is suddenly start. That is called as head restraint. What we used to call head restraint. Understand? So that name called as. Head restrain. So, what is the purpose of this? Mitakshri, Varthini, Kaushikra. So when the car, when the car suddenly start, our head move yes. backward to stop yes. the. Uh, yes, if the suddenly our head will fall backward, what will happen? Here, the nerves which are present, the nerves will break, or else they will be cut. Do you understand? So. the this will see that head restrain we used to call at the back of a person's neck sitting in a car the head restraints are provided in a car to reduce the neck injury in the case of accidents because during accidents and all will fall forward and immediately if the seat belt is there immediately it will be pushed us backward direction do you remember hari ready everybody so that is the reason when the suddenly when we person during accidents and the person will fall backward if there is no this head restraint then the neck nerves will be broke even the spinal cord will damage here is it okay guys at that force it will be hitting so that is why the they are particularly effective in rare impact accidents that is what you can notice it the mainly this head head restraint will be having useful for example reddy is driving a car in forward front understanding reddy is sitting here now he has the red head restraint now suddenly red hari will come with the lorry bulldozer in the backward direction and he will hit do you understand hari 
I understand it. Yes, you might be notice yes, it in sir. accidents. See, if you will do the accident, you will fall forward direction. Yes, sir. No, Mitakshri. If you will do the accident, if you will hit the any person, then you will fall forward direction. Now, if somebody will hit you, if somebody will hit you from the backward, then you will fall which direction? You will fall into the backward. backward direction. Can anybody explain why it is, sir? When we will hit front, why we will fall forward? When we hit far back, why we will move backward? Can I say? Now see, when I hit forward, for example, this person is coming like this direction, understanding, and I am also coming like this direction. Now you can see my force is applied in this direction, my force is applied in this direction. So my body, which is, I am sitting here, my which body is contacting with the ground, lower part or upper part? Lower part lower or upper part? lower part so here also lower part so when i suddenly apply the brakes so my lower part will comes to rest but my still my upper part is in forward direction yes or no hurry yes. so that i will i will move forward if i will hit the accident friend so that i will move forward direction are you clear mitakshri vartani now i am driving a car i am driving a car okay in a forward direction. I am moving like this. Now, suddenly from back, some kind of a lorry or something came, or else heavy big car came. Now you can see, suddenly it will hit your car so that your speed will increase or decreases. Your speed will increase or decreases. So speed will increase. Means which part speed? Lower part or upper part? Lower part. Lower part. So lower part will try to move forward so that automatically our head will be in remains in same speed, which is the speed you have. Do you understand, guys? It's not zero, same speed, so that it will be move which direction, Hari? It will move in the backward direction. So if you move backward by the time, if there is no head restraint, then our spinal cord will damage. Here, here the nerves will cut. That is why to get safety, to reduce the head injury, neck injury, we are having what guys? Head restraint. Mainly from which accidents? Backside. Understand? The accidents vehicle hit from behind, then this will be saved. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Yes or no? Yes, this is what the Newton's first law. So Newton's first law of motion gives us a, a definition of force. That is what a force is something which changes or tends to change the state of rest or uniform motion of the body. Now you tell me, always I am mentioning force is in a particular direction, direction, direction. So chapter one, you can remember. So I can say if it is having anything direction, we can say it is which quantity? Which quantity guys? Velocity. Force. Force is, having, force is having direction and as well as magnitude. So that I can say force is what guys? Force is vector quantity. Understand now why I said force it is a vector quantity? Force is a force having direction. quantity because it is having always a magnitude and as well as we have to apply in which direction? Particular direction. So magnitude and as well as direction. So that is why it is called as vector quantity. Is it okay, Mitakshri? Have you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Anybody having doubt? I can ask me. Gokul, Akilan, have you understand yes, Akilan? Sir. Any doubt, Akilan? Yes, yes please. Okay, that is what. Now, please, all of you, note it down till here. Now, we can, from the Newton's first law, we can write the definition of force. So, please write it, everybody. Everyone, write it. Shall we write? Now, can I ask you one question? If you we'll jump out from the running bus, is it dangerous or safety? Is it okay or is it, is it dangerous? When you're running out from the running bus, when you jump out from the running bus, is it danger or not? Danger, sir. Danger. Danger. Why? Anybody? Why it is danger? When we jump, we will fall down, sir. We cannot land it, sir. Why it is? Because when the bus is moving very fastly, our body is also having the same speed. Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suddenly, if we'll jump out from the bus, if we'll suddenly we'll try to come to rest, then what will happen? Our body will still trying to maintain its what? Maintain its what? Inertia of motion, so that we'll be fall down. Do you understand, everybody? Yes, please respond. Yes, that is what it will be happening. So still our body is trying to maintain at the same speed so that it will be, will be going to fall down. Is it okay, guys? Yes, please. Yes. So that is what. So is it safe enough to jump out from the running bus? No. No, sir. Because when the bus is moving with a very high speed, so our body is also having the same speed. So suddenly if we'll jump, then if we'll try to come to state of rest, so, but our body will try to maintain its state of motion. So automatically will fall down. When I'm in Hyderabad, first time when I, when I'm trying to board the city buses, because most of the city buses will never stop in the bus bay also. Like in a runway or running itself, most of the gents will get down. Only ladies are there, they will stop completely. So first time when I try to get it down, I fall down actually. You people, uh, I'm saying you, later after one, two months, one, two experiences, then even I used to run around when the bus is in 20, 30 kilometers also, I used to get down. Do you understand, uh, Hari? But it's very dangerous. But of course, due to emergency, like uh, fast time, uh, time also, because when we are living in a city, we have to travel more number of kilometers, heavy traffic and all, correct or not? So most of the office employees and all, they will run, getting uh, running out from the, uh, like they will get down from the running bus only, but not it is in 60, 70, when? It is in five kilometers, 10 kilometers speed, so that we can get it down. Do you understand guys? But by the time also, suppose when the bus is in 10 kilometer per hour, this is all real life applications because you're all future now. Now, if you'll get down suddenly, you have to, you have to run towards to forward direction or backward direction, anybody? You, you are not supposed to stand. Suppose Harish is jump out from the bus. He, sh he should not try to stand at the same place. Or else he, he should not try to stand in the backward. He has to move which direction always? He has to move which direction? Forward direction only. Because bus also moving in the forward direction. When you suddenly jump, do you understand him? So if you we'll try to attach the same place, then due to the friction, you are hitting the ground very forcefully. So ground also will hit you forcefully so that it will cause us what? It will break our legs. Do you understand? So damage to our legs. That is why when you jump from the bus, which is having low speed, of course, don't try that. Okay. Then you have to move along with the bus some forward direction so that our body will come slowly into the rest. Is it okay, everyone? Hurry. Real life experiment, real life experiences, I'm saying you. Okay. That is what you have to remember. Now, right. Definition for force according to the Newton's first law. Write it all of you. Newton's first law of motion. Everybody, write. Newton's first law of motion. Please frankly tell me, have you understand the class? Akilan, Gokul, Danishka? Yes. Yeah, please. Write it. According to, uh, yes. Newton's first law of motion gives us a, Newton's first law of motion gives us a, Newton's first law of motion gives us a, Newton's first law of motion gives us a definition of force, gives us a definition of force, definition of force. It says that, it says that, it says that a force is something, it says that a force is something which changes. A force is something which changes, which changes or tends to change, which changes or tends to change. A force is something which changes or tends to change the state of rest, state of rest or uniform motion of a body state of rest or uniform motion of a body so that is what the from the newton's uh, newton's first law also is it the same definition of force or not what do you mean by force either push or pull of your body so now compare this to both the definitions you will get the same meaning yes or no ready verify it harish 
Yes? yes. What will be happening? Suppose when the body is in state of rest, if you want to create a motion, then you have to push it. When the body is already in motion, if you want to stop it, then backside you have to apply the force what? You have to directly push again from this side, opposite side. So that, or else if you want to create a motion in your body, you have to pull it also. So whatever it is, so either push or pull if you'll do, then what will happen? What will happen guys? The body will come to rest. Do you understand everyone? So that is what? So from the Newton's first law also, we can get the definition of force. Will you accept it or not? Everybody? So this is what, yes. what is, understand? So that is why we can say force is always having direction also. So the force is an influence which can produce an acceleration or retardation in your body. Please all of you note it down. Force is an influence, force is an influence, force is an influence. It can create acceleration as well as what can create, Hari? Danishka. It can create which can create acceleration.